Welcome to my new mini-series. We will look at the basics of solving differential equations from simple expressions like this, all the way up to more complicated examples like this. I have designed these videos to be short and only cover a couple of topics. For the first installment of this series, we'll begin by exploring two of the simplest types of differential equations. The first of these being in a separable form, where we can rearrange to get the variables either side of the equation. Now let's look at this example. We have dy over dx equals x squared minus 1 all over y. If we observe where the y is in the equation, we want to move this to the same side as the dy over dx. After doing this, we can simply just integrate with respect to x. Where we will notice that due to this being a normal differential and not partial differentials, we can treat the dx's as if they cancel each other out, leaving two simple integrations. So let's firstly integrate the right hand side where we'll just write c as the constant of integration. Now integrating the left hand side and combining the constant of integration together, we see that we're just left with y squared over two equals x cubed over three minus x plus c, to which we can quite easily rearrange and make y the subject. So let's multiply both sides by two. And then if we take a square root, we'll quite easily see that we've now got y in terms of x. Thus, our solution is just the square root of 2x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus c. This is actually known as the separation of variables method, which we'll actually use for the next form of differential equations. The slightly more complicated, but still easy to understand differential equation is called the homogeneous type equation. It is important to note that this is the homogeneous type differential equation, as there's actually a separate definition for homogeneous when solving differential equations, which we'll visit in a later video. For this type of homogeneous, all it means is that we can rewrite our equation into a function of y over x. Let's say we found a homogeneous type equation. So let's just let y over x equal the function t. If we now multiply both sides by x, we can quite easily find an expression for dy over dx. This just requires us to differentiate both sides in terms of x. If we think back to what type of solutions that we want, we're trying to find a function of y in terms of x. This means that t of x will actually be a function of x as well. Hence, we have to use the product rule here. To which we can just see that dy over dx equals t plus dt over dx times x. This is key to remember, and we'll come back to it in just a minute. So, let's look at an example. Let's take an expression like this. An expression like this might throw you off to start with, as it actually looks quite complicated, but we can actually get this into the form where it is a function of y over x. So let's divide both sides by x, y. And now, if we look at this, we might be able to see that if we take a factor of x squared from both the top and the bottom, then it will cancel itself out and we'll just be left with a function of y over x. Now if we just recall that we let a y over x equals t, so if we make a substitution, we're just left with dy over dx equals 1 plus t squared over t. So remember I told you that it would be useful to know what dy over dx is in terms of x and t. Well now we can just substitute this back in and we'll get a linear differential equation in terms of t and x which is actually separable, just as we did in part one. Taking t from both sides, we're just left with dt over dx times x equals one over t. So if we remember that we want to get t on the same side as dt over dx, we're just left with t dt over dx equals one over x, which is now separated. And just as before, if we integrate in terms of x, we can see that the dx's will cancel, just leaving us with the integral of t in terms of t and the integral of 1 over x in terms of x. So just integrating this expression and then multiplying both sides by 2, we can see that we're left with t squared equals ln x squared plus c. Now we just need to substitute back in y over x for t, and then we can solve for y. So let's just square root both sides and then multiply by x. This actually leaves us with our final solution, where we get y equals x times the square root of ln x squared plus c. So that's it for this short video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll look at some slightly more complex differential equations in the next video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.